Welcome in, everybody. I'm John. And I'm Matthew. And today we're doing an article called Sushi Terror. Ah. Uh, the sushi itself is not terrorizing. Um, it is the people handling it. But that's a little bit of a teaser. We'll leave that for the conveyor belt to bring back around after we get into these couple questions. Did you ever play any pranks? When you were younger, you know what? Actually, we did like prank phone calls. Ah, yeah. Those were fun. Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> that kind of thing. You better uh -huh. go catch it. Yeah. Yeah, we did do a lot of prank <laughs> phone calls. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, like a business. Yeah. Or just random people in the phone book. Remember those? Phone, phone book. Books. Jeez, yellow pages. Uh, or just like our friends. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Nothing dangerous or messed up. It was usually just kind of, you yeah. know, maybe jump out, scare a friend or something like that. You know the prank that I remember happening that I fortunately never um, suffered from was the, uh, the video pranks where you find a disgusting video involving a cup mm -hmm. and you tell your friends that it's actually a really cool video and, oh, just watch this. It's really fun. And then uh, you are subject to a disgusting video at normal speeds. Yeah, um, that's that's one. And that was a prank. And for one, I for one, I'm not a suspicious person. But my friends coming up to me, who I, who I know who they are, they're my friends, and suddenly saying, "Hey, I found a cool video." I'm like, "Something's wrong." <laughs> I know you're not like that nice. <laughs> yeah. You Anyways, know, you know ahead of time. I, it, there was uh, yeah. There's a lot of fish everywhere, and I was like, "This is way too way too suspicious." Even for me, who pretty trusting person. Did you ever get in trouble for those calls? Uh, yeah, probably. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe just like friends' parents uh, were in the way and called my mom, and my mom like, "Don't do that anymore." Or, you do what, mom? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> do we ever do a prank in school? Cool, probably, but I don't think it was anything major. Yeah. You know, I, I can't really remember. Uh, I didn't do anything, like, for the police. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No trouble like that. You know, yeah. like, there were some senior pranks that happened at my school where the yeah. police yeah. got involved uh, yeah. at that point. So, no, I was never <laughs> involved in that. Oh, well, that's a good transition <laughs> because the police are involved in this one as well. And we will find out how sushi and pranks get put together in this article. Read the um, summary if you're able, and also read the whole thing if you have the time, and we'll see you soon. Sushi Terror. It's no secret that teenagers play juvenile jokes, some of which can be harmful. One teenage prankster is finding out the hard way that this behavior can have consequences. The teenager engaged in sushi terror, which entails licking or otherwise messing with the food and utensils in a conveyor belt sushi place. Pranks like this have increased with the popularity of short-form videos on social media. The teenager's video got a lot of views, but he is now being sued for about half a million dollars.